Well, hello, this is David Birch at Star Pass School of Navigation with a short video about a way, a trick way to navigate uh, by uh, uh, in the Puget Sound area or other places that have traffic lanes, that have traffic lanes, and you want to be sure that you're not in the lanes. You, we don't have to worry too much about navigation per se because we can look around and really see where we are. But the main thing you want to know is, are you inside the traffic lanes? And I'll show you that in a moment. But this came up, I put this picture here because this came up the other day with a conversation with Chris Cunningham, who is the editor of this online magazine, The Small Boats Monthly. And so we're looking at boats like this or, or um, other uh, small craft that don't have uh, electronic power and nav stations per se. And uh, the, the, the situation here is, here's, for example, the Puget, here's uh, Shoal Shoal Bay, Seattle's down here. And uh, it's a popular sailing area here. In fact, there's many races, sailboat races take place right out here. But the hazard, is, what hazard or concern or obstacle of the course are these ships that come up, uh, go outbound here, going out towards uh, the ocean, or inbound here, headed down into Seattle or Tacoma. And these, these uh, vessels could be going 20 knots or they could be going 30 knots. And so the idea is we want to know when we're, sa and those ships are going to stay within this lane. Going out that way, they'll be in here, and coming in that way, they'll be in here. In principle, people are not supposed to be inside the separation zone. And so the, uh, the trick is we just want a trick fast way that you can take one glance without taking your hand off the helm or the wheel or whatever and know when you're in these lanes and you could, uh, sail around here and safely know you're out of them or if you're going across them know when you're safely across the other side and this technique which came up in our, our conversations I remembered we had it, we have in our textbook uh, this is our standard textbook we use in our classroom courses and it's back in chapter 10 and this is the technique in our book chapter 10 that I'm going to talk about we're going to set up a fake route between uh, that defines this uh, this uh, shipping lane and then we're going to monitor the cross track air uh, across there so you would just um, set up a route and here I have one set up and you could actually make you know make this chart oh that activates it that's the answer there um, I wondered um, so uh, but this is a route there's no route there it is you could make this route on your or on your phone it's a little t harder to make them on the phone but I'll show you it's doable here um, and then you just, that's from right in the center of this turning point here and this turning point here and then uh, we uh, activate that route you, um, Let's see, how do I do? Follow that route. So I've activated that route, and that will uh, turn on then the cross track air. But let's now drive the boat across. This, is, this, this particular program, which by the way is called Memory Map Navigator, is quite a nice program. Um, it's uh, relatively inexpensive and it has a remarkable functionality. It doesn't have everything we might like, but the, what it does have, it works really well. Plus, as I'll show in a moment here, they have an iPhone app or, you know, iPhone version of this that is uh, very slick and all very inexpensive. I think it, I think my total cost here on this one was about $10, and that was just to download all, all U.S. maps. So let me get going here. Let's go across there like the Victoria Clipper, 30 knots. Uh, 28 and then we're heading across here and so again so this this is used this program's used a lot in um, hiking and uh, topo maps and things like that so here is the vessel now moving across here I don't know if it's leaving a track or not uh, draw the track now it might um, and so as you see here then we once we've activated the route this is now the cross track air if we've activated that we're, we're in principle sailing along this route right that's in principle in principle we're saying along this route and we're measuring how far off we're really way off the route and it's telling us how far off and this is 1.06 and it's getting smaller and let me come down here and see whoops what am i drawing here i don't want that wow
Okay, I'm back again. I had to stop. This function up here is not what I wanted. I wanted to be sure I was doing the track of the vessel moving. This actually, uh, just a tangent here, this is actually a nice feature of this program. You can actually just draw a line, random line across that, and then click a button. It'll convert it to a route with waypoints and so on. But that's not what we're doing now. We just have this boat. Oh, and I stopped him while I was paused. So let's get him going again. 30 knots across the track. Uh, where is that? Uh, okay, well, I guess that's doing it. Enter. There. Now, he's moving, but what's the numbers we care about? The numbers we care about are from here out to the edge, and that's going to be, that number is 0.61. So, if I look here, and I've done this before, obviously. So, it's 0.61. Oh, this guy's just in. He just crossed into the lanes. And then you can also zoom in here. Let's see if I can zoom in here. And you see over here, then it's point, it should be 0.11. So something like right there is 0.11. So that will tell you 0.1, well, I'm a little bit bigger, but 0.11. So uh, then you can, by watching this, you see pretty soon we'll see that guy enter into, the, enter into this zone here. Uh, and we'll know then that we've gone from We've crossed the lane, and now we're going in, and we'll be in the, in the separation zone. And then, likewise, when it comes back out the other side, this will turn these, every program has a different way of doing it. These have these little chevrons that indicate what side you're on, and I would presume these will reverse when you get over to the other side of the lane. So that guy's doing that, and that's, that's how that works. And um, I can, I can uh, maybe pause him or let him run. Yeah, so here then, let's just see. Now, um, I, this one I can't, this is, a, this is a program that, oh, wait a minute, I got the wrong thing. I got to pick up the phone. Um, this is now an, the, the memory map app for the iPhone. I think it's a free download, and it, it, I just had to pay $10, $9 to download all U.S. charts. Um, and so you set up the route, and I put the same route in here the same way and then you activate the route and I'm sitting this actually where I'm sitting here my in the star path office right here so all we can go by is just to check that that's see if I go in here to zoom that distance I zoom that distance let's see how I do that and you see it's 2.2.53 so right now we're as stagnant as 2.53 uh, nautical miles is a cross track. Oops, I keep pushing the wrong button. Okay, cancel. But now you see here's what you can watch, and there's that. This is the cross track error on it. And if you want, you could put it clear across your phone, and you could also keep track of your score. This, I'm not moving here, right? Course and speed and some other things. But put this a great big number right across here for your cross track error, and glancing at that with this fake route. Uh, again, let's see. Let me see where our, our boat is. See, here he's just going point six one. Look at that. He's just leaving the lanes. Okay, he's now out of the lanes. He's safe. He's got a guy safe. So I can stop him. Let's see zero. Okay, he's stopped. So this is uh, this is one iPhone app. Most should do it, but this particular one is, is a very nice and as as economical as you can get. And it, again, it's a very interesting one to look at. Memory-map.com. And that's the technique of just making this fake route to keep track of your uh, location in the shipping lanes.